in the history of Iowa, nobody's ever come close to getting the kind of numbers I got. So the New Hampshire electorate is different than the Iowa electorate. It is less conservative. It is certainly less evangelical. I will do anything in my power to make sure that Trump does not become our next president. And I don't want Biden either. They don't have to be fearful and just simply jump on the Trump bandwagon. If he's convicted of a crime, I don't think he should be the president. I don't think you'll see as much support for falsehoods and conspiracy theories like the election was stolen in 2020 in New Hampshire as you did in Iowa because the electorate will be more moderate. A vote for Nikki Haley this Tuesday is a vote for Joe Biden and a Democrat Congress this November because that's what's going to happen. Who lost the House for us? Who lost the Senate? Who lost the White House? Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. This is really about whether Nikki Haley can position herself as a major challenger to Donald Trump or if having defeated both DeSantis and Haley in Iowa and then defeating Haley in New Hampshire, Trump is sort of a runaway train without any real significant opposition. New Hampshire has a lot of experience with these kinds of elections. They've hosted the first in the nation primary for a long time now. There is one hang up in the Democratic primary, and that is that President Joe Biden's name is not on the ballot. And so voters who want to vote for Joe Biden in the Democratic primary will have to write in his name. That's going to take a lot longer to count. So if there is going to be a hold up, it's going to be in the Democratic primary versus the Republican primary, which hopefully, knock on wood, will be straightforward.